Our top story this morning, one person is dead and many more are recovering from their injuries after yet another violent weekend in Atlanta. We are following the latest developments in multiple shootings, including one where police say, get this, a DJ opened fire on a crowd of people inside a nightclub. In another case, three people were targeted while walking to their cars near State Farm Arena. Mara Siriani joining us live this morning. Now, Mara, this shooting happened less than 24 hours before thousands of people were there at the arena for the Hawks game. So you can understand why crime in that area is a really big concern. Tell us more about this one. It is, and this one, Aisha, is disturbing. It, it could have happened to anyone. These three people, like you said, were just simply walking to their car here after leaving State Farm Arena, and that is when uh, they were targeted and shot at during an apparent uh, a robbery. And so let's show you some video from that scene. It's all happening around 1240. This was Sunday morning when uh, police say this happened in a parking lot below the arena. They believe the suspects tried to rob the woman and two men again before shooting them. All three of those victims were injured, sadly. They were taken to the hospital and they are expected to be okay, but this one is still under investigation this morning. And then around 2 a.m., another triple shooting. This was also Sunday morning at the Silver Ultra Lounge on Sylvan Road. Police say a DJ is accused of opening fire, injuring three patrons, including a woman inside of there who was hit by a ricocheting bullet. That DJ is facing several charges. And then the night before, a drive-by outside the landmark condo building on Piedmont Avenue left one man dead and two others injured. Police are calling this one random and unprovoked. Investigators are still working to track down the suspects. Meanwhile, they think all three victims are from out of town. They're not local here, not even from Georgia. Um, and so again, this is uh, all very scary news that we're reporting here. Uh, the latest crime stats from APD as far as shooting incidents go, they are up 40% from uh, this year from last year. That's year to date stats. And again, this all while APD's new summer crime plan is in full swing.